warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, guys, this was published on the um, 11th of February. It was um, this pop icon. I don't know whether you guys are familiar with her. Her name is Cardi B. Um, again, it was a, I guess, a short stopper, an outfit that she was meant to be kitted out in, dressed up in for the Grammy Awards. Um, again, I guess millions and millions upon millions of people uh, follow this sort of nonsense and watch it. Um, for me, I guess, again, it's just uh, symbolism. And uh, there's a lot encryp encrypted in this. Um, and uh, it certainly did um, cause <coughs> um, some level of concern simply because of what it symbolizes. Um, this dress, I don't know whether any one of you would uh, can... Um, maybe see the similarities between what you see here and the goddess uh, Venus in occult symbolism. I'll take you there right now and you see exactly what it means. Um, this is the goddess and she comes out of a shell uh, from the waters, uh, the goddess Venus as it were, uh, probably made in the mid 1480s this painting was. It depicts the goddess Venus arriving at the shore after her birth when she had emerged from a sea fully grown, right? Uh, the painting is bloody bloody blah and Florence Italy. So um, it's um, again it depicts, and I guess, I guess it's pointing towards the birthing of uh, a goddess and uh, through water. And uh, we've got a lot of talk about Poseidon. And um, recently, I think if we look it up, actually there should be no reason why we can't find it. Um, Russia. Um, what was it? Poseidon, that? yeah, Russia, Poseidon, um, tsunami. Let's see what comes up. I mean, this is the first time I'm looking it up, at least on YouTube. But I have come across it and read about it uh, recently. Um, they did. Um, uh, let's just look it up on um, Google instead. There doesn't seem to be anything on um, um, YouTube. But well, certainly it was in the news. I'm pretty sure there was. The real purpose for Russian 1000 megaton underwater nuclear bomb. Tsunami that could spread deadly radiation over hundreds of thousands in short. This is, by the way, it was published in a Business Insider on the 11th of February at the same time. So, I mean, there's no serendipity here. Again, like we said, we're anticipating uh, what we understand to be um, a huge tsunami that's going to be manufactured. Um, uh, maybe very possibly when they do do it and manufacture it, they may try to may try to attribute it to natural circumstances, although they will be manufactured, uh, or they may just openly just accept that it was um, uh, Russia who did it. I'm not sure uh, how that's going to f uh, play out, but what I am pretty uh, confident in, and I have postulated in the science uh, team's forecast for 2019, is that they're going to manufacture a tsunami on the state and it'll probably uh, very likely permeate throughout the surrounding um, 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 regions uh, uh, and um, <coughs> cascade into uh, even Europe perhaps or Lahu Alam um, but uh, we're gonna see a manufactured event which will lend credence to and segue into Revelation 12 again whilst we've got uh, Ezekiel 38 and 39 playing out on the other side of the Atlantic that's in sorry on, uh, in Syria in Asham and um, I think uh, prior to that what we'll have is um, Isaiah 17 1 that uh, will be the precursor to all of this and this is around the time that uh, Donald Trump is set to announce um, what I understand to be a two-state solution around uh, or at least by mid-April uh, just following the elections on April the 9th in Israel I believe that that's when he intends to um, officially um, put out his peace plan and that peace plan will look to divide but again it's just for it's cattle fodder it's nonsense it's just for the masses but they will then try to make it look as though a divine um, punishment has um, uh, accrued as a consequence of uh, their intentions to divide uh, what they would, I guess, claim to be the promised land of the Jews, subhanAllah. So, um, uh, and um, uh, again, 
um, I guess moving on from that, you know, something else that I wanted to add to this uh, discussion is, um, um, yeah, there'll be an attempt, I think, an, a, a false assassination attempt on Donald Trump, and then they'll show him come back again miraculously. And this is going to be a decoy for many of the Christian faithful, because they want them to think that um, uh, the Antichrist will be a mortal being back here on earth. So, I mean, there's a few candidates for that. One of the primary candidate for me is uh, Donald Trump, who may very well play the role of Little Horn. But um, then you've got um, his son, Jared Kushner, you've got Prince Harry, and you've got Prince William. Uh, I think between these four individuals, uh, 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 they're going to serve the purpose of decoys for the Antichrist. And this is for the swaths of the Christian masses. Um, then what would happen, I guess, is whilst they stage this false extraterrestrial contact, and again we're seeing a lot um, uh, to uh, suggest that they're intending on doing that. In fact, Turkey has played their role by revealing a 1,200-year-old Bible, um, um, apparently, uh, which um, at the the crescendo, at the absolute, um, uh, the, uh, whilst they were flipping through the pages, the last page was... A depiction of what we uh, conventionally understand to be, at least in, in the um, mainstream, a uh, grey alien, right? So, uh, and that lends credence into the science PDF that, uh, in conclusion, where we state that they're looking to stage a false extraterrestrial contact and they'll claim these extraterrestrial beings were actually, in fact, the makers of humanity and that they spliced their own genome with that of the indigenous species back here on Earth and created Adam and Eve. And then what we had today, interesting enough, is CNN, which I did share with everyone, but um, with the ulama ikiram, there was a side note, which was the, I guess, our uh, our synopsis of what that psyop is about. And again, as far as we're concerned, uh, it's again to just bring everyone full circle from creationism all the way back into, I mean, sorry, from Darwinism all the way back into creationism. Darwinism uh, served its purpose to derail people and disconnect them from their creator, their religious beliefs maybe catapult them into atheism or any other isms uh, other than their own religious beliefs, I guess. And then now they're ready to draw a generation which is totally disconnected with their creator, with their Rob, back into uh, the theory of creationism, but now to add credence to maybe perhaps the creators being extraterrestrial in nature, sentient advanced beings. And I think this is going to happen when they stage this um, um, well, when they nuke any one of these sovereign nations, very likely it's going to be Iran, Wallahu alam, or maybe perhaps even around North Korea, but I think it will be Iran. And then uh, when they do this, uh, we'll probably see a false extraterrestrial contact that will be staged. And during this time, that uh, um, humanity will be led to believe that these were in fact the um, beings who brought about these three Abrahamic religions and every other religious belief that we humanity has experienced since and they were for that particular nation that tribe that time that period uh, that region that location and uh, to then coerce us to where we are today and now to finally reveal to us a spiritual religion which again will be the religion of the third eye the pineal gland that i've discussed and outlined in the science pdf for the olamaikram again all of this was available to all the olamaikram since 2016 this is an understanding I came to a long time ago when I did my Umrah in 2007 um, with only alhamdulillah, in Al-Quds uh, in, uh, from Alexa. And then from there we went, mashallah, uh, to uh, Jeddah, from Jeddah to um, Medina, from Medina to Haram Mecca and back again. I'm sorry, from Mecca to Medina. So um, uh, it's, it's been a long journey, subhanAllah. But again, it seems that we... Our postulations were pretty correct. Those postulations did come from, again, uh, the ulama ikram know the story, they know the journey, so I don't think I need to mention any of that again. But um, um, we, eyes peeled, subhanAllah, let's just, I hope this isn't the year, but it seems like this is this is going to be the year, and it does seem like winter is going to be when this war is going to start. Uh, and then it will just roll into seven years of tribulation, all of it. So let's just see how things pan out. We know what's happening in Venezuela as well. 
Um, it's just uh, drum beats of war everywhere, and um, I'm just absolutely um, dumbfounded as to why our Ulamay Gram are absolutely impotent in the face of this, and there is no word of caution to their flocks to maybe at least have some sort of preparation in place and be sensible with the current climate and what's happening. Um, six months of uh, non-perishable goods, right? Be in a position where you're not locked into whatever you are and you can basically uh, liquidate your assets and move. And the only way you could do that, especially in this climate, if and indeed uh, global cl uh, economy does collapse as they intend to, which is also postulated in the science forecasts, and the science PDF, sorry, and the science forecast for 2019. If that does happen, then the best place to have your uh, uh, savings. And again, this is the wealth of the Umma, subhanAllah, right? No one's asking anyone to hoard anything. But you don't want to be muhtaz of anyone. You don't want to be dependent on any individual. And you want to be able to move if you have to. Very likely, they will try to uh, hinder uh, the ability to move anyhow, especially if our Imam does appear, then uh, this is absolutely, uh, we're, we're being very naive if we think our movements are going to be uh, free. Uh, free. We're freely going to be able to move from location to location, wherever we are. Um, uh, the Shayateen in Insan Jin have literally got um, borders and countries gridlocked, subhanAllah. Uh, and if they do want you to pass that border, then <coughs> they have a considerable amount of power to ensure you can or you can't. You know, so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But again, like I said, it's it's um, a deen where we have to tie our camels. And um, all I see is the camels let loose, subhanAllah. There's no tying happening over here. Anyway, jazakallah for your time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.